Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I just recently traveled and actually this video is shot on site here in Texas where I was doing a project with LP and Jordan Smith Builds. So go check out both of them on social media if interested. But I got a lot of questions because I traveled with some of my tools and even when I was starting to put together my gear list and what I wanted to bring down to Texas, uh, I really couldn't find any good information specifically on traveling with things like tool batteries. Now I brought all sorts of ca camera batteries and laptops and all these other electronics many times before without an issue, but I've never traveled with power tools and specifically these large, uh, these large lithium ion batteries. So. Uh, I think it's a great video to make because there's a lot of you out there that are probably looking to do the same thing and when you go to the TSA website or I specifically called Southwest Airlines because that's who I was traveling with, they couldn't give me an answer. Literally the lady on the other side of the line uh, spent 10 minutes kind of searching through her, um, I guess, search bar, whatever they have on their side of their call center and she couldn't really find anything so she basically said just... Uh, Go to TSA's website and search for it. I did, and I found information, or actually a lot of little information, but a lot of words, because it's like, you know, reading a, a lawyer's um, contract or something. I, I don't know. It's just kind of like, just tell me, can I or can't I bring this on the plane? So what I found out was, specifically with batteries, lithium ion, we all have seen probably those viral videos where a guy's battery or his phone just starts on fire. With these batteries, the biggest thing they're worried about first off is you got to make sure that the connections are somewhat protected. So if you're traveling with a battery, put it in its own compartment, wrap it up in something. Don't just throw a bunch of batteries together. The next thing that I found is this battery right here on the back of it, it says that it's 108 watt hours. So according to the TSA, you can travel with any battery under 100 watt hours in either your check baggage or your carry-ons. But if you're gonna have a battery that's over 100 watt hours, you have to carry it on. They don't want these things underneath, stowed away in the check baggage and to cause a problem because nobody can really monitor that. So this is a six amp hour battery, uh, but you can't really go by the amperage, although there's probably some formula. I'm not an electrical engineer. Uh, there's a lot of people smarter than me. So if you understand the conversion from watt hours to amperage to um, voltage, I don't know that. But all you have to do is check the tag. All the batteries should say what their watt hours is. This 3.0, it's only 50 watt hours. So I could have stored a bunch of these under in my check baggage. So I don't know if that information was super cool. It wasn't super action packed and you know, entertainment filled. But however, I do know a lot of you guys might be traveling for work in the future. There's not a lot of great information. So I just wanted to take a quick minute, share that information that I learned with you guys. So hopefully you have a good, you know, experience when you travel the next time for work. And don't worry about taking your power tools. Just make sure you follow those simple rules. So back to work guys. I better not add extra weight because I was pushing it as it was. Yeah. We're just going to throw this in the lawn. Jordan will find it later. I gotta put these in the carry-on bag because these are over 100 watt hours. This was the thing I had to take out because I was too heavy the first time. And these, I'm just gonna throw these at Jordan's truck. <laughs> 